that, of course, Taylor Swift. Uh, with Cruel Summer. Well, she certainly found out about a cruel summer in Scotland over the weekend where she was forced to wear gloves on stage at Murrayfield, a chilly Edinburgh Saturday night. So she wore black gloves as a three-and-a-half-hour show headed towards its acoustic She session. might have needed a hat and fur coat as well, I yeah, think. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, <laughs> she'd learned a lesson from the night before where she told fans that her hand was frozen in a weird cramp. Um, we wonder where Coist is this morning, by the way. JJ in Newcastle said Ali McCoist was seen with a blonde wig on giving <laughs> his best rendition of Shake It Off in the stands. Um, no, I, I mean, it's an, an oddity, but, you know, live shows, you, you, your hands are going to get cold, aren't they? Do you know, I've been to so many gigs, and, 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 and again, I've seen gigs where it's belting down with rain, literally thumping down with rain, and the band are out there for... A, two and a half hours or whatever some of them are out there for and uh, and it can't be easy listen it can't be easy playing in those sort of conditions and poor old uh, Taylor Swift there and she plays mm. you know a bit of guitar and she plays it nicely and uh, if your hands are cold it's not easy yeah not easy to do Let, let's face it there are Premier League players who wear gloves in August you know so very true I, in fact that's right I, I think I watched in the in the playoff final game Presencio Somerville, the Leeds player. I think he had gloves on. Yeah, I think in he that did. game. Yeah. I think he went out there with gloves. Oh, no, look, did you ever wear gloves? No. I don't ever remember going out there and wearing them in, uh, for a game, Jeff. In mm. training, yeah, when it's freezing cold, yeah. But not, um, not. I don't think match days, no. No. Um, uh, Greeno, the postie, says, uh, totally agree with you, Jeff, about Foden, but what about Ezra? You guys have not mentioned He's him. He's been on form for the last six weeks. The only bright spark in the Bosnia game and uh, yeah it's a, it's a pretty decent point in fairness uh, Nathan the Spurs fan says Jeff's starting 11 has Declan Rice in every position ah well you know what Nathan if we did have Declan Rice in every position we'd definitely win the Euros no question about that uh, I'm not sure why Nathan thinks I've got an obsession with Declan Rice no, I mean he's only one of the best players in Europe well he's, he's, he's one of the I think he's one of the best players in his position in world football yeah. I think Declan Rice is and I think England have, how many players have England got Jeff that you would say are could get into to any team anywhere in the world I think they have got three or four mm. I think I think you'd say Bellingham you'd say I think Kyle Walker would be hard to replace as a, when he, when he's his best Harry Kane yeah you, you could argue if I know Phil Foden Look, there's a few, and, you, and you're not alone, by the way, when you say about Phil Foden not quite got to the city levels in an England shirt. There's been a lot of text along uh, yeah, along that, that line, but he's a. I tell you what, most teams would love to have players like that. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.